Hey guys, it's Rory with SearchInChat.com and today I'm at the KL International AV Show and we're at the Samsung Experiential booth where they're showing off one of their new SUHD quantum dot displays. Now I know you must be wondering, what on earth is quantum dot and how is SUHD different from regular UHD? Well, that's what we're here to find out. This is Jason Fu, the head of Samsung Malaysia's audiovisual business unit, and he's here today to shed some light on Samsung's seemingly complicated TV technology. Uh, there are three main things that you actually probably want to know a little bit more about our TVs this year. First of all, our quantum dot technology actually produces one billion colors expression, so we actually get the very finer details in terms of colors. Second, is actually our HDR 1000 which we are able to express the most brightest scenes and the darker scenes and you will be able to see the details in the contrast as well. And last but not least, our ultra black technology where we actually reduce the reflection of the lights. For example, if you're opening up your curtains and so on, so you don't get to see any reflection uh, behind the TVs. So yes, that's the simplified explanation, the TLDR version if you must. But if you want to get a little more technical, here's what each of those terms mean. Let's start with quantum dot. Quantum dot technology basically refers to the way light and color is pushed through your television set. On your conventional LCD TV, the display uses blue LED backlight that's coated with a layer of phosphorus to emit white light. This white light is then passed through an RGB filter, which then turns into what you see on the screen. The problem with this method is that the white light created isn't clean or pure. As a result, a lot of the light is lost after the filtering process, leading to less bright and less vibrant images. With quantum dot, you don't have this layer of phosphorus. Instead, you have a layer of quantum dots that emit their own light and color, depending on the size of the dots, when they're struck with light from the blue LEDs. This means instead of muddy white light, you get clean colored light passing through the RGB filter, which gives you much brighter and more vivid images. So with quantum dot technology, Samsung's SUHD TVs can express up to 1 billion colors compared to their regular UHD TVs, which can only manage a measly 64 million colors. Next, we have HDR, which stands for High Dynamic Range. You would have probably heard of this term in photography, but it isn't all that common in TV screens. HDR's function in TV is simple. It is designed to give you the best detail in contrast, allowing you to identify, say, a snowman in a snowstorm or a black cat in the night. Finally, we've got ultra black technology, easily one of the coolest features we've seen on a TV yet. As Jason said earlier, ultra black is designed to prevent reflection from open windows and bright lights from showing up on your screen. Ultra black is possible because Samsung has incorporated a layer of nanoscale cones on the display surface that absorb or redirect excess light rather than reflect it. From our brief testing, this does seem to work quite well, though if we place our LED too close to the screen, it will still reflect. So there you have it, Quantum Dot, SUHD and HDR TVs explained. For more awesome content like this, keep it tuned to searchinshow.com. It's been nice. See ya.